Boom. Glass. <laughs> While you're putting your glasses on, hello everybody! Welcome to Tales of Harbor, an actual play of OVA here on Twitch. I'm Wordsy, and I'm going to be your DM for this one. Uh, I have been joined uh, not by the, the the traditional Tales of Harbor crew. No, I'm joined by the Tales of Harbor Knights crew. Uh, I'm joined by Zara. Hello. Did you get your glasses? I am wearing glasses now. Yeah. Nice, uh, <laughs> Fiona. I'm always wearing glasses because I'm fucking blind without them. <laughs> uh, TT. I am soda. And Spider. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we are we are back with Tales of Harbor Nights. It is uh, it is a it is a story that's different than the the other story, and sometimes it can have feelings too, which we'll try. We'll see what happens tonight. Um. Uh. So. When we last left off uh, with uh, you guys, uh, you had just defeated the other two heads of MMT, uh, of, of uh, Beholder Corp and uh, uh, Horus International. Uh, they tried to do a hostile takeover by murdering you, uh, but you proved to be too tough. Uh, walking through the wreckage of the destroyed tower of MMT and just squelching the remains of uh, you, any resistance within the company. Um, unfortunately, this has left you with a shell of what it used to be. You have uh, the warehouse where you guys used to work at uh, that is still standing. Uh, most of MMT's uh, most of MMT's uh, stock and and uh, assets and resources have been either cleaned out or, or moved by investors uh and now you guys need to find a way to make some money uh because your last paycheck was a while ago uh i just spent my last dollar on curry <laughs> you should spend it on more curry um i don't have any more money i just have curry <laughs> Uh, and now you have been approached. Uh, we're going to start with a little bit of a flashback. Um, as we, we move to the, uh, Faust and, the formerly Faust and Found office, which is, I guess, now the headquarters of MMT, uh, your, your former dragon boss uh, left a hole in the side of the building when he got fired running out, and uh, you have, well... Somebody probably did repairs on it. I'm I'm not sure if you guys would care. That's hard. I think I would. You would okay. So <laughs> Yuto probably figured out how to put some beams and stuff up. Well, Logan would prefer it to be closed. <laughs> Logan would prefer it to be closed, but not enough to do anything about it. That's also fair. Um so I, I suppose the question now is, uh, there we go, I fixed the chat. Um, everybody, uh, who answers the door uh, as uh, there is a knock at the uh, uh, headquarters of MMT? If not, they'll walk in. Nice Logan, I'll open up. Okay, uh, Logan, you open the door and find a skeleton. Uh, I get, terrifying. I get that a lot, ma'am. Uh, is this the uh, headquarters of MMT? Yep. And I suppose you would be. Well, I'm Logan, head of loss prevention. Logan, head of loss prevention, nice to meet you. My name is Rusty. I represent the Walker organization. Uh, I would like to speak with uh, one Yuto Kazama. Yeah, he'd be in the office over that way. Excellent, excellent. Uh, this skeleton comes in clad in uh, just the most cowboy of cowboy gears. His bones bleached white, but his, his uh, pants dusty and dirty from hard trailing. Um, you hear spurs click along the ground, uh, in Yuto, a dark figure darkens your door, uh, and knocks. Yuto Kazama, 
I've been looking for you. You know, turns around and looks at the dirt that he's tracking in behind him. <laughs> just kind of, he takes an awkward moment to kind of stare at it for a second, and then he looks back up and just says, yes. It would appear that in recent history, your uh, little organization here has fallen into some hard times. I can't believe someone's knocking at the door. One second. It's you. It's You're not. the one knocking at the door. Thank you for my comforter, friend. <laughs> a second skeleton rises. <laughs> <laughs> <a> <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, no, sorry. Um I just got a comforter for my roommate. He is very nice. Uh so uh Rusty says, Yes, you've fallen on hard times and I am uh in the position I've been offered by my benefactor to uh see that you get paid right proper. Your benefactor. Yes, I represent a number of interests. Uh the Walker organization is far spread, and while we have our fingers in many pies, we only have so many people. So, we are looking to uh, have you look into a little thing for us, and big part is, you get to keep all the rewards from this that you might find or come across. Redundancy is important in my line of work, you see. Hmm. Yuto turns around while thinking... Um, takes a look at the the office um, <laughs> at this moment. <laughs> one of like it's in a state of disrepair at this point, mm. um, and one of the curtains just like falls off. <laughs> looks outside, and there's somebody like rummaging in a trash can. That <laughs> looks up. Huh? What? Like, oh. <laughs> looks away. <laughs> gotta get out of here. They caught me again. Dang it. You don't narrow his eyes and turns back. <laughs> I suppose I'm listening. Well, you see, we have uh, good under uh, we have an under good authority that a local uh, not local a a, a international uh, secret society, the Neptune Society, is uh, in control of a dig site. They are currently uh, rooting around for lost treasures of a. A world long past and your organization here used to be reclaimer so i figured why not seek the best huh and then after we tried that we came for you guys <laughs> asc would not return our calls uh so <laughs> we furious <laughs> this this neptune thing mm -hmm. what is there what's What's their angle? What are they looking for? Well, the rich elite are always looking for something for leisure, aren't they? <laughs> yes, we are. He looks you up and down. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, listen. Uh, the Neptune Society is powerful. They got people all over the, the upper echelons of society. Politicians, movie stars, uh youtuber wootubers uh just just anybody that you could think of that could be rich uh business magnates there we go that's one of them uh and they are currently transporting uh, some of their uh fare to it to that dig site to peruse some of those items i would ask that the uh team you have built here uh carefully crafted as i see he looks over to like janet's lab <laughs> something explodes uh, a little like uh like completely black figure that covered in stars just kind of floats out and grabs several orbs and then floats back in um <laughs> a muffled a muffled <laughs> voice from inside nod nod did you get that did you sample that <laughs> i did it went <laughs> <laughs> um right so i would ask that you take your team uh, and we will, we have, uh, dossiers and everything your, you, your organization might need if you require such information. Uh, though I suppose that, uh, 
your friends over here, talents over here might uh, might provide that for you. He gestures over to Logan. Yes, I suppose that will do. Um, what exactly are you looking for? Well, I suspect we're not being sent in there just to collect some random treasures. We are looking what for exactly. Is it? We are looking for confirmation solely and truly. You see, they're digging up something that we believed wasn't real. And if you can set eyes on it, uh, maybe take a snapshot of it with a phone or, I don't know, just make a mental note, that would be plenty. What is this unreal thing? He pauses and looks around. Your loss prevention team is on the ball. Um, <laughs> this she's she's been here the entire time. <laughs> this uh, this I un mean, yeah, I let him in. <laughs> this this unreal thing is a location. There is supposed to be something deep under the earth that. Uh, if you believe crazy people, uh, is uh, maybe not explicitly defended, but behind uh, the 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 beings of the deep earth, and well, we uh, we aim to see if what's behind them is really there, or if they're really there. Honestly, we those are also kind of scant reports. It, it's just a whole lot of mis like unclear information. We we just need confirmation on some of these things, and every time we move, we make a move, we get flashed again. He kind of grimaces and like adjusts his jaw. Curious. We'll do it. <laughs> well, that is that is good and exciting news. I thought we were gonna have to go to the Crunch Bunch or whatever. Those jackasses. Uh, all right. Well, if you'll do it, uh, we'll pay you up front. Um, uh, he has uh, a, a goon dressed in all black uh, with a skull mask on. Uh, hands you uh, uh, thirty-two hundred dollars. Uh, uh, this is for you and your team. Uh, I don't think we can pay a child, so that's not going to happen. But uh, just you know, be be aware. This is this could be dangerous and. Uh, your train will be leaving in about three days, so get ready. The second he says "get ready," <laughs> insanely loud hyperpop starts play starts playing <laughs> in his lab, followed by oh maniacal God. laughter. There she goes. <laughs> it's done. It is done. She bursts open. She bursts open the door and the hyperpop gets even louder. <laughs> I finished it. Everyone listen. It is nightmare to the ears. <laughs> I, I should have prepared some hyperpop. Um, you should have. I, I should I'm, have told you to prepare some hyperpop. I'm a failure as a DM. Uh, <laughs> I should have put, composed some hyperpop. I'm a failure as a player. Let's put, let's all be failures together. Doing it. I... I'm amazing. <laughs> Uh, Rusty kind of looks around at Janet, uh, Logan, and uh, and Yuyuto and says, I was told that you have a fourth member of your team. I'm not British. Um, I, I was told there was going to be four of y'all. Yes, yes. Now that you mentioned, this is important. Uh, Janet rushes in, quickly burns a CD of their latest composition, mm -hmm. and then runs out and chucks it into Mulligan's closet. <laughs> <laughs> why did why did they do that I don't what well, I did I did it again I became British for a second um, <laughs> you sure did oh no Rusty's turning red ah the queen damn it <laughs> there you go god big guy. save the king <laughs> there you go big guy Janet calls in and then slams the door and then re returns to their lab Without even acknowledging Skeleton Man. Do you keep a member of your staff in a closet? Mulligan. Keep him there. 
Mulligan opens the door and like <laughs> takes out one of his headphones, except for a second, the ear comes with it before it snaps <laughs> back to his head. God damn it! Huh? <laughs> right. Okay. Um, this it's is Mulligan. He's our muscle. He's hello. <laughs> uh, ho- howdy. I, I'm undead, and that I'm still a little confused so here's your here's your advanced pay you'll get the rest at the end of the the uh the job uh and just he kind of looks at the the whole office good luck (laughs) um he uh he steps out and uh leaves the building uh and we will jump forward uh, you guys are on a loading, uh, a loading dock for loading dock, uh, train station. There we go. Uh, <laughs> you're <laughs> That's a very different thing. Loading bay. Lo- loading, yes. Yeah, really. We're loading the people. Um, you have been given uh, pass uh, like passports and and fake information uh, as well, or like fake personal information as well as like directions to this secret uh train station uh so you can get on this this special train um in addition uh i will i will pop this in uh both the chat for you guys and i will uh i'll throw it in if people want to read it um so you guys have been told that uh you you have to to get into the neptune society's like mining thing uh you need to steal some uh, security passes. Uh, these security passes are on specific personnel uh, on the train, and you will need to acquire at least four of them. Uh, there is a limited amount uh, that, and these people are going to be getting off on secret exits uh, during during the travel. Um, you'll need to get these passes before you can enter into the dig site. Uh, this is going to be probably difficult but uh one i believe in you uh two uh you do not have to get all of them uh if you can figure out a way to get past uh some of the of the security uh you can maybe sneak inside but that will be much harder uh, might make the next things you do difficult uh in addition uh murder is not impossible recommended uh but it's also not recommended yes because that is that is a bad thing to do uh uh on on this a a thing where they want you to be a tiny just the littlest bit uh like uh discreet excellent discretion is what i am best at yes uh so uh you've been given uh details on uh potential train passes uh, including the train crew. Uh, they have two potential passes. There is a specialist pass, which is somewhere on the train, but there's not much information about them. There's the security security pass uh, ho- held by the security team who are uh, uh, kind of uh, running security for the train. Uh, and then mm. there is the society pass, which is held by two people who are uh, actually members of the Neptune Society on the train. Uh, so whichever ones you guys want to go for, uh, feel free. Uh, if you have questions about them while, while, while you read over them, uh, you can go ahead and ask away while you're getting on the train. Uh, but uh, your guys' tickets are simply for the common uh, passenger cars, not for like the upper class stuff. Uh, and you don't have any other uh, like points of light or help here uh this is all going to be on you guys to steal these things and uh you know get yourself access to the uh to the neptune society's dick site Ooh. Uh, mm-hmm. uh so uh i should ask uh is there any passes that people are maybe thinking about going after because some of them are probably going to be harder than others and feel free to tell the audience because they can't see it yeah I'm just going over them right now real fast not a problem i wrote a, some stuff about them yeah 
I mean, the security pass, the, the security security pass, it seems like it's a less ideal situation. It would be a tough sell. <laughs> because they will probably murder us if they figure we're up to no good. Yeah. Ain't ain't a, ain't not a possibility is the thing. I do want to find the specialist pass because I am that kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've I'm kind of that kind of person too. The specialist specialist pass should be a fun one. If you tell me that there is a secret, the train, <laughs> I'm gotta find to find it. <laughs> gotta find the secret. Train through pass is probably the most straightforward. Uh, I think I'm... Security head is named Kiara Steel Orc. Oh, uh, she is, is... Kiara Steel an Orc named Kiara Steel, or is Kiara Steel a member of ORC? Uh, 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 Kiara Steel is an Orc who who is running security for this train. Uh, she leads okay. the Red Falcons. Okay. Yes. When I see orc written like that, I just think of the orcs that I made up for TP's world, so I needed clarification. I, I think of Prandle daily. Okay. <laughs> I also do. <laughs> TT, we love the things you make. Anyway. Um... Mm-hmm. I think... Mm-hmm. I think that Janet would very much love the challenge of getting Kiara Steele's pass, and unless severely dissuaded by their teammates, would probably go for it. Speaking of teammates, y'all should discuss this between yourselves. <laughs> are we on the train already, or are we just discussing currently? Uh, you guys would have, like, you know, kind of separation from the people, so you, you have time to talk to each other. Logan has a thought of how to get Kiara's uh, pass. Don't tell me. Without, uh, <laughs> yes, of yes. pretending to... Uh, so, Kiara uh, recently had a family tragedy and is pouring that into work, according to the dossier. Mm -hmm. uh, this is true. Which, which means that she may be more sympathetic to someone dealing with a family tragedy or pretending to do so <gasps> lying about a family tragedy <laughs> how could you i want to get to your head on <laughs> says janet i mean listen you can still blow her up this fight she... is the last thing we want on this train <laughs> she's got bones and blood So, emotionally manipulate the, the head of security. Mm. That's one option. Yes. Yeah. Find the secret pass. <laughs> How many passes do we need, like, minimum? You need at least four, four, four. For, for each of you. At least one four. For, one for each of you, yes. Okay. Yes, the, there's one security pass. Uh, there's two society passes. Uh, there's two potential uh, train crew passes. And then there's one specialist pass. What if I want to bring the kid with us? Do, would we need a pass? You would, you would need an additional pass. I just want to make... Listen, Janet has grown fond of this kid ever since they kind of... Ever since they kind of um, conscripted them into lab assistant service. Okay. Sure. All right. You will need five passes then. Okay. She's... They're a useful kid. Nita, you're rich, right? You could probably bluff your way into the rich people part of the train. Yes, I could. <laughs> so matter of fact. Uh, um, Udo is going to specifically look at the route of this train. Zara's upset about me for saying that because it gives him something to do that isn't search for the secret one. <laughs> I mean, I'm still going to look for the secret one. <laughs> 
Um, the route of this train is uh, is going to pass by uh, Mineshaft. Uh, it is going to a city called Underground. I don't have to tell you where the city is. Does it know it's in the sky? Many I assume. Tunnels there are. Uh, there is uh, there's about three or four tunnels on the way there. Guido is going to roughly map out where these tunnels will be happen along the trip. Yeah. Uh, okay. That would uh, be very useful. Give me a roll to be smart and, like, make this plan uh, in, for the future. So it's 2d6 base, right? Yes. Plus whatever. Plus yeah. anything you think that might be uh, helpful in this specific situation. So I've got intuitive plus four. Okay, yeah. Kind of make a make a guess at train pattern. Mm -hmm. Is that... So that's 66? Six, 66. Ooh, uh, oh! Uh, we, something we learned on Harbor: if you put S after your six, your your D six rolls, uh, it'll mm -hmm. sequence them in order. So, Ooh. yes. Uh, cool. So right. that is a ten. Um, yes, you mm -hmm. you know that about roughly hour thirty apart, uh, there's going to be a uh, there's going to be a, a a tunnel that you will pass through about every hour and thirty minutes on your way to uh, underground. Okay. Mm. Good to know. Meeting the train. Janet would love to look at the train's engine, so maybe going after Numero to check. That does seem up their alley, yeah. Yes. Uh, so Janet would be going after the train engineer, uh, Numeros Chuck. Yes. <laughs> the halfling. The halfling, the halfling half giant. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. So he's just. Like the size of a regular dude. He's pretty. He's larger than a regular dude. Okay. Yeah. Take a giant and then half that size a little bit. He's still pretty big. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, Janet, you could you could you would have to make your way through the like uh the the higher society cart, uh, un unabated. Yeah, yes, because the 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 train is laid out. Uh. The the. Locom like the main locomotion engine, then the high society cart, the pa the regular, like, buckwheat uh, passenger cart, then your cargo carts at the back. Mm -mm. I can, I think I can do that. All right. How about you, big guy? Janet pats Mulligan's upper thigh. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Um, hmm. No one's Which ever pass you want? asked me that before. I don't know. <laughs> okay. well, that's that's fair. If there's a thing I should, uh, is one of them good for me to get? Hmm. You like burgers? You like burgers, <laughs> big guy? I don't know if Mulligan eats. <laughs> That's not what was asked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of quinoa. I don't eat quinoa. Okay, we're not... <laughs> I feel like that was the second of itself, but... What do you... Okay. Um, I think it would be funny if Mulligan somehow wound up going after one of the society ones, but Mulligan's not going to have the initiative to think that. Well... Who wants to help Mulligan out? He does usually follow orders. <laughs> Mulligan may be able to help Yuto if he's willing to sabotage some electrical systems. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, break some shit. Let's go. Anarchy. So we got high society. Oh, actually. Specialist. <laughs> we got the 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 train the train crew. Uh, Logan, were you going after anything in specific? Uh, I think she'll go after Kira. Oh, okay. You're you're going after the sob story. The security security pass. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in and that, I think, mm-hmm. and I think that while Janet is messing with is check is messing with the train engineer, we'll also try to get um the pass from the conductor for for Nod. Hershey's pass. Okay. The... And we're also all keeping an eye out for the specialist pass. Gotcha. Of course we are. Everybody's keeping an eye out for that specialist Ooh, pass. Look. Uh, nobody in this cart. You see a bunch of real generic mm-hmm. looking guys. Of <laughs> we, are, we are now, we are now in the cart. Uh, and yes. Mm. I like to think Mulligan is probably just sitting in this seat. And I think that Janet just goes up and sits next to him and just pops a, pops an earbud into one of his ears and pops the other one into their own and just turns on their latest, their latest song they put together and just they both sit quietly while the most noise ever goes into both of their ears and that's how they are opening on this train uh the uh the security gentleman behind you uh he simply uh just kind of uh, ma'am <clears throat> uh excuse me Janet does not react it's a lot of noise. They they are not. Uh, it's a, it's a lot of noise. You're just making a lot of noise. Hmm. Yeah, you that you're distracting some of the other uh, passengers. I am sorry. I cannot hear you. I'm listening to very loud music. <laughs> Turn the music down. It is it is down. <laughs> he he shakes his head and ignores you. Janet looks up at Mulligan and just shakes their head. Some people, you know. What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's very loud. Uh, as you are all on the train, you hear over the intercom. Not in this seat. <laughs> Attention. Oh, wait, there's not. Yes. Not as quietly uh, playing with a, a rubber duck. You don't know where they got the duck from. Um, I know exactly where they got their rubber duck from. I know what Nod's powers are. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was dreaming about a duck. Uh, attention passengers, this is Hershey Parsons, your conductor. I want you to know that this trip will be safe, smooth, and without incident. This, I can assure you. I've been on the rails for 30 years. And in those 30 years... I have never seen, and I can say this 100% accurately, I have never seen an issue on the rails. Now, I would invite you all to enjoy the food, music, and entertainment provided to you. Uh, over the over the intercom behind his voice starts, it starts going, uh, it starts playing like some old swing. <laughs> I hear that, but I immediately want to cause problems. <laughs> Janet looks... Janet looks in the direction of the speakers and frowns. I'm sorry, that's Janet. This, this, sim- <laughs> this simply will not do. Uh, we would like to thank our security detail, the Red Falcons, for providing such excellent security. Uh, some other people in the car kind of clap for the, the guy at the back of the car who kind of waves. Uh, and we want to thank uh, our, our lovely, lovely boosters for providing us with upgrades and service for this train thank you thank you so much uh and there is a a, a hoot and a holler coming uh, a couple cars up from you guys uh as uh, uh you you imagine some people from the neptune society might be might be having a little party a booster they provide money for an organization uh usually i hear the term in, re- in reference to like uh college football or, or like a really really into sports uh local Rich people. I see. Are the Neptunes a sports team? They are not. <laughs> That's fair. 
Uh, Probably a sports team named after him. They're rich. They get to do shit like that. Indeed. Uh, so, uh, you guys are are free to do as you please. You have a little bit before you 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 have like a, a day or two before you would actually arrive. So, uh, what do you do? <laughs> Until we just start exploring the train. Okay. Uh, Yuto, you you start walking through the train. Uh, car opens up. You see on the other side, there's a security guard who lets you through. Uh, sorry about that, sir. Please make your way. Nods. He keeps walking. Lynn's going to give her like five minutes before she also gets up and looks around. All right. Uh, um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll kind of take note of the people as I go past. Uh people in this card appear to be like one of the, one of the guys just is like a, a really stern looking elven man uh got an eye patch he's kind of just grumbling to himself and reading a newspaper uh other person is wearing a sword on their back uh and they have a bunch of tattoos and a maid dress uh they are just kind of kicking and gritzing uh as if they're very uncomfortable in their chair do we have do we know what these people look like? Uh, you do not, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, you've heard Hershey, uh, the, the the train conductor, but you don't know anybody what any other other dossier people look like. Just gonna keep on trucking. Okay. So as you pass through this cart, you notice you are in some sort. Uh, you move forward to a a nicer looking uh, passenger car. There's individual uh, like separated seats and little rooms there's towels bells for like ringing for service uh and you notice most of these cars are actually empty uh they say reserved for uh for booster uh but there's nobody inside uh there's also no security in this particular cart curious indeed take a look in this one i assume there's little windows yes uh you look at the so you walk into this very fancy cart there's uh like plush like uh curtains and stuff hanging everywhere uh you kind of move one to the side uh and inside uh you see a man and a woman um they are holding like too many dogs um (laughs) <laughs> well, uh, you hear the woman on the other side Winthrop oh I'm so excited that this we are going to go visit this this dirt place where they have um, uh, money in the ground uh, and the man returns ah oh, yes Muffy I am so excited to see the ground dirt money I think I think our servants would quite like stories about this oh, I do think Jeeves would very much enjoy uh uh, a story of some dirt money. He does lo- love cleaning it, so. The dogs are the one with the special sass. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Yudo just kind of shakes his head and says, that's too many dogs. <laughs> Keep moving. It's, it's way too many dogs. Uh, when you get to this cart, uh, this is the next high society cart, um, there is a guard who does uh, say, uh, excuse me, uh, can I see your pass Yudo kind of checks his pockets for a minute and goes ah I must have left it in my baggage one second right (laughs) doing reconnaissance Mm -hmm. understandable Uh, while you're heading back uh, Logan what are you up to uh Captain mentioned food. Uh, Lauren's going to ask this guard where grub can be gotten. Okay. Uh, you stand up and ask the guard in, in the, uh, the like the commoner carts. Uh, uh, food? Um, the cart behind us is actually the kitchen cart. Uh, uh, the, the kitchen staff is very um, sensitive, so don't go into their kitchens, the cart behind it. But the... I guess the cart directly behind us is where you can go to get and eat food. The cart directly Mm. behind that is the kitchen cart. 
So you know, don't go in the kitchen. Do yeah. not do not go in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if, if you if you're looking for food, go go right ahead. Yeah. Oh, Logan will head off to that one. All right, uh, Logan, you. <laughs> Sorry. It's. I, listen, I I folded this in half. It was longer. <laughs> for those of you at home, I made a very long map. <laughs> a train uh and I, I had to fold it in half so it's not as long <laughs> um which means i have to drag the the entire <laughs> width of the map to go one car's length uh so uh logan you enter the kitchen car uh where you do spy a uh a, a little chef guy where is he there he is uh, he is behind a counter Greetings. How can I help you today? What have you got? Uh, well, we got a special on a burger. Best burger you'll ever have on the rails. Uh, we got a milkshake. Doesn't shake even though the train does. And we got my favorite. We got seasoned fries. Imported some jasmine directly from overseas. Anything a bit harder, or is this just, or is it dry? <laughs> something harder, she says. Okay. Uh, yes, I can get you something harder. Uh, I do have ID that says I'm an adult, I understand. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so he, 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 he looks at your ID, uh, and then he goes, okay, uh, give me a second. Uh, and he walks back to this door, uh, and he opens it surreptitiously, uh, and then pull something out from the other side uh, and has a bottle uh, of black and red. The glass is blown in, in a very pretty way. And he pours you a glass and says, this stuff is uh, the dopest brandy I've ever seen. I'm trying to, I'm trying to kind of connect with my kids more. Am I using dope correctly? Sure. <laughs> Well, thank you. I appreciate that. He writes a little thing in a book. <laughs> uh, yes, he, he hands you a drink, though. Uh, uh, if you are to imbibe, it is very sweet. Uh, but it is some strong stuff. <laughs> uh, Logan's going to be careful with it and that she's not, like, drinking drinking it sure but she's like she has it and is trying to sort of have it on her scent oh you're trying to make you smell drunk yes ah you're using it as a mouthwash yeah okay <laughs> fantastic <laughs> did, did you just spit that back in that cup <laughs> what are you doing no. okay <laughs> uh he, he, he kind of, like, goes back to, like, uh, kind of making some fries for some people in other carts and stuff. But, uh, you know, with, with your order complete, he does not feel the need to continue the interaction. <sighs> hmm. You have not seen her just yet. Uh while you're thinking uh janet uh mulligan what are you guys up to janet is going to very suddenly stand up and say loudly i am hungry <laughs> pop the earbud out of their ear jump jump up onto the onto the seat in front of mulligan uh -huh. stick it in their ear stick it in his other ear uh -huh. and says and says now, big guy, have fun listening to the music. Go ahead, do whatever you want while you listen. And then grabs his grabs his head and looks him directly in the eye and listen hard for track 15. <laughs> and jumps down. And gives Nod a little, a little tussle on the head and then walks directly under this guy's legs into the dining cart. Squeaku. Uh, he kind of... I could just open... The, okay, whatever. I... Truly, I can't with some people. Um, <laughs> um, you, you're into the dining cart. You see Logan uh, 
in the, uh, I guess sitting down at a table, uh, kind of enjoying enjoying some uh, some brandy. Janet jumps directly up onto the bar. Whoa! And says, "Give me a milkshake and put three of these in it, and give some three curry blocks." Uh, I don't normally change the recipes, ma'am. Uh, I, Give me a milkshake and put four of these in it. Give me <laughs> one more curry block. He starts making a milkshake and hands it to you. It's very undope of you. He looks over at Logan. I am very undope. This is what I always call myself. <laughs> Logan shrugs. <laughs> Janet just casually walks past into the next car. Uh, where are you, hey, well, where are you going? On the milkshake. He puts a hand on your shoulder. Hmm? Uh, going you... further into the train. No, that's the kitchen cart. You're not allowed in there. Oh, but I love the kitchen cart. Yeah, no, that that's not uh, that is not allowed. I'm sorry. That is, that we have rules and regulations. You can't just walk into uh, places that are not allowed. Oh, but I love the kitchen cart. I'm I'm very sorry, but you. It's as as dope of as dope of me as it would be to let you in. I I can't allow you to do that. I understand very much. You are being a, a, a responsible worker on this here train. It's important that you be responsible, and I will also be responsible, citizen, by not getting in your way. Janet leaves, drinking the milkshake. Stopped in between carts and immediately starts trying to climb up to this car. You're going to need your only some form of, of athletics check. It will do. <laughs> and you're going to need at least a 14. I am dexterous. That's so. fair. Yes, you can add that. All right. I am dexterous and I'm vigorous. Does this help as you do? Um... It is moving very fast, so just like kind of pressing your body up against the side is a lot. I'm I'm also evasive. I'll let you add dexterous and vigorous. Okay, cool. Remind me. Two d six. Is it two d six plus your plus one for each ability that works? Excellent. So that's five d six. Uh, because I have two in yes. two in Three. dexterous and one in vigorous. Yes. So five d sixes. There you go. Uh, that is only an eight. So, uh, Janet, <laughs> you, you you walk out and then immediately start walking around the outside, and uh, you got a whittle body. Um, so <laughs> very small. You kind of immediately the like the the speed and force at which the train is moving you just kind of lose your grip because the condensation from your milkshake um ah, i shouldn't have carried my milkshake <laughs> with me while i tried to climb why janet why a rookie mistake um <laughs> milkshake is not a bomb you don't know how to handle it you begin just slipping and and uh like you're you're grabbing onto whatever you can grab uh i can be very clearly seen like <laughs> smushed against the window like, the, like the... she starts like sliding down Logan yeah, looks they... out the window she's just like, there they're, yeah they're they are just <laughs> just seconds just ago like, right there. Just seconds ago, Janet was walking out talking about what a good citizen they are, and now both both Logan and the and the waiter bartender guy can see me just sliding along the window. Uh, he's 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 at, so uh, he's Clear. he actually can't see this. I, I okay. <laughs> cool. You so I because Log, Logan is like kind of earlier in the cart, so Logan can see yeah, you right. out the window immediately. <laughs> Logan yeah, just right. glances, sighs, and just sort of mentally reaches out and grabs them with, by their collar. Um, roll me a telekinesis. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> Janet is going to fucking die. <laughs> That's a 12. Uh, you, you only needed an 8, so... <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Janet, you feel your momentum stop <laughs> as... You feel a familiar presence as Logan's telekinetic force just kind of halts your position on the side of the train. Still squished up up against the glass, Janet <laughs> gives Logan a thumbs up and also sips from their milkshake. 
I knew you would give a thumbs up. Janet, your milkshake is absolutely gone. In, in what world? <laughs> still have, I, I still have the straw in my mouth. The milkshake still there. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> okay. So, uh, you have Janet... She just closes the curtain. <laughs> this is... She's sick of Janet. This is no longer her problem. Well, where, what are you doing with Janet? Because she's still on the outside of a train. Uh, like, I think Logan's going to give her some... Su give them, them some support. Give them, okay. Yeah, give them some support. To We're gonna get this right. Get up. To on the top of the train. Okay, so Janet, you are slid... Uh, and, and you can use your own strength to kind of clamber up to the top of the train, uh, with a, with a 12. I'll give you that. Uh, so now you're on top of the train. <laughs> Excellent. Wonderful. <sighs> okay. Uh, we will get back to that in just a second. Um, <laughs> you tell. Uh, you were, you were walking back to, to your, to your cart to like go get i guess to maybe go get a pass or something but uh mm -hmm. what what are you actually up to so udo is keeping an eye on the time mm -hmm. specifically he is waiting for a tunnel coming up ah uh... he's gonna go scout out let's say this cab mm -hmm. he's gonna look inside make sure it's empty it's dark yes there's nobody inside the the empty like rich cab Takes a note of whatever numbered cab is. Mm -hmm. uh, and then once. 15. Yeah. 15. Yeah. Mm. Um, once it's close to, to tunnel time, mm -hmm. he's going to make his way back and open the door again. Mm -hmm. He's going to see the guard and he's going to say, I'm a little embarrassed by this, but I'm afraid I seem to have lock myself out of my cabin um my all of my credentials and luggage are in there and i i'm in a bit of a situation you wouldn't mind giving me a hand would you he uh he kind of looks at you and kind of frowns it's same fucking okay uh yeah yes yeah, sir i'm i can help you with that uh roll me a deception um anything you would add to to trick or and source of someone with lies. Um, you need at least a six, because uh, rich people lose their shit all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what in intuitive would make sense? He's like reading this guy. Yeah, you're, you're reading the, the, the guard yeah. Yeah. for the best lie. Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot to put an S. I didn't say, but position of power would also probably make sense here. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. That is a 10. Yes. Uh, so with a 10, uh, he goes, yeah, I can I can help you with, uh, just wait right here, sir. I'll, I'll go get the, the keys. Uh, if you'll, um, uh, uh, can I get a, uh, uh, a helper here? Um, as he says that, a little bone golem pops out of the of a wall uh and it like does a little dance in front of you uh and it says uh, <laughs> raises an eyebrow uh one of the uh, one of the attendants here will will attend to your needs while i'm gone uh if again if you need anything just ask him i'll be right back with the keys i just got to go get them from my boss Uh, the little sto the little bone golem goes. <laughs> you know it to like step away from it. Mm -hmm. It t it steps forward. Hey, quick question. Mm -hmm. What part of the bone golem is making that noise? It's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> is the problem. <laughs> the, <laughs> he, he just seems to be following you two now. Um, uh, the the guard passes by you, Mulligan, uh, 
and and then eventually uh, passes by you, Logan, past the uh, the, uh, the the sh- the chef here into the kitchen cart. Uh, you see, he takes a deep breath and then walks inside. <laughs> Can I hear shouting? Uh, you don't hear shouting, but you hear like him go "fuck Jesus" as he like as the door closes. Uh, but he disappears inside. Otherwise. I think about this time. Uh, uh, Janet, what is track 15? May I? Please. Hello. Look at all those chickens. Look at oh. all those chickens. So did you say the guard, like, left? Yes, uh, the uh, a guard walked by you to go like into the the dining car. I think music still playing. Mulligan is going to sort of just idly start walking. <laughs> okay. You know, in that same direction. Yeah. Uh, you walk forward past uh, the guard who just got. Oh, sorry. Uh, Sir? <laughs> mm. That guy looks sick. Uh you pass by uh the pe- the the commoner car into the uh like the you know the wealthy cars. Uh and uh, eventually you run into Yuto who is being just menaced <laughs> by this little dude. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a confused. <laughs> I'm a, Mulligan tilts his head. Hello. I don't know either. (laughs) For some reason, Mulligan just has the idea of, like... If Mulligan went to walk through, would the skeleton actually stop him? No. He's serving Yuto at the moment. Okay. Yes. Mul... He was like an accidental necromancer. <laughs> he keeps getting these undead abominations that serve him, but he doesn't make them. So, no. and I think Mulligan's just gonna walk past, and we can go through what's in these cars. And I think at about here we can talk about what track fifteen is. Okay, cool. Uh, so. Mulligan, you you walk by the the more full uh, rich person car. Um, they, this place is kind of bumping. Uh, there's music. There's uh, there's like dancers in some of these rooms. Uh, you see in the first car, like cab you pass, uh, there is a a woman who is just kind of belly dancing in front of a dude who is playing the music that she's dancing to. Um, and the very next car is just piles of drugs uh just so so much uh, arcane uh a, a magical drug that gives you magical powers um just kind of not even hidden just kind of in broad light it's just like so, it's separated by type but that's about it um uh the next car that you see uh just kind of has a tiefling uh woman in it uh she's looking at a photo of uh a, a woman in like in like yellow glasses with a guitar and she's kind of like muttering to herself and looking forward uh and then in your in the final cab uh you see a young man and an older man who is kind of like look looks very worried but the younger man is just his nose is like red and blue from doing arcane uh he's like wielding both a, a fire spell and a lightning spell at the same time uh and you can hear from inside the car I, uh, fuck. Okay, so Bran, so Bran, here's here's the thing. She's like this woo tuber, and like she she makes you feel mm, invigorated. I just want to fuck and, and fight. And, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this ketchup. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this ketchup. And he just takes a packet of ketchup and just puts it in his mouth and starts chewing. Uh, so <laughs> don't do drugs. Dude. Yeah. So about here. The... Uh. Track 14 ends. Uh-huh. It is 
what was previously the loudest music Mulligan had ever heard suddenly goes completely silent for a couple seconds. Sure. And then Janet's voice starts speaking. Okay, Mulligan, if you were listening up until now, you should have gotten the instruction to come into the cars, into the passenger cars. <laughs> now. Take a passenger hostage, Mulligan. Mulligan. <sighs> Mulligan. Take a passenger hostage. Do it. Find one. Grab them. Start screaming. Start screaming, Mulligan, like you've never screamed before. Take a passenger hostage, Mulligan. Do it. Do it. Interesting. It, it, it just continues like that. <laughs> okay. Mulligan, what do you do? Is there more after that track, or is that the end? Uh, it is just silent right now. Hmm. <laughs> Enter passenger car. Find passenger. Grab. I don't know if Mulligan knows what hostage means. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have any hostages? I need to take Well, one. it's funny you say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think Mulligan has generally gotten the vibe that, you know, uh, maybe someone has told him, hey, don't don't talk too much to the guards unless they talk to you, basically. Mm -hmm. Sure. Someone has probably given him that instruction. Yeah. Um, everyone else in this car is the gibbering skeleton. <laughs> a guard. That's correct. Or uh, seemingly busy with somebody else. Uh, all except for one. Yeah. Yeah. Mulligan's going to knock on this door. Uh, a tiefling girl opens the door. Uh, hello, how can I help you? Do you know what words mean? Wh what? Are you... Is this a joke? No, I... <laughs> Hang. Hmm. Mulligan... Mulligan, so he's had the headphones in. Yeah. They kind of just seem to go into his neck. <laughs> okay. Um, so Mulligan is going to take a second to, like, root around. Mm -hmm. And just, like, it's the sort of thing where it looks like someone's taking something out of, like, the inner pocket of their coat. Sure. Except he's doing that kind of just with his chest. <laughs> just get, really get in there. And pulls out his phone. Oh. And, magic phone that got given to him yeah you had a can cast yeah. like in the first one yeah okay and i think what what happens is mulligan kind of he tries to go back to the start of the track uh-huh where Janet told him to do the hostage taking, but he kind of just goes back to the <laughs> beginning of the CD. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. And so the lady can just hear really loud pop music coming <laughs> out of the earbuds. She looks very confused. Um. Okay. Can I can I help you with anything? <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to make the right music thing play. Usually there's a next button. Mulligan hits it and different <laughs> but similar sounding very loud <laughs> cluttered pop music starts playing. What's Meanwhile, gets progressively Janet... louder every time <laughs> Mulligan hits next. Meanwhile, Janet is on top of the car just saying to themselves, Ah, I can feel it. My plan is going perfect. <laughs> do you... Are you... Yeah. Do you need some water? Um... Do I 
you need water? <laughs> she 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 goes, "Okay, you need to sit down. I think you're I think you might have hit your head or something. I'll go get a guard." Uh, uh. Okay. Does she Well, against like previous instructions are immediately overwritten. I have a question. Mhm. <laughs> when you said she was looking at a picture, was she like looking at her phone or No, it's it's a it's a physical picture. Okay. But Mulligan can see the guitar in it? Yes, you can see a guitar in it. Uh if you want to roll me a history type roll, Mulligan, you're free to. To like recall knowledge. Oh boy. I can Hmm. <laughs> oh, I did add a thing, didn't I? Yes, you did. Uh, I have plus one knowledge music. So yeah. I'm like rolling three d six. Roll three d six. Uh, I was okay. I, I was gonna say, give me a six, and you did. Um, so, um, this is a this is a image of Lacey Lassiter, uh, uh, a famous uh rock musician, uh, and uh. Pretty much the grandmother of met of modern metal music. Uh, uh, this young tiefling girl just goes, "Yeah, you are. Listen, buddy, you need. Are, can you can you give me your name?" Mulligan kind of blinks for a second and says. I think he just says Lacey Lassiter, like, not really responding to the <laughs> Just, like, it pops into his head looking at the picture. <laughs> she she kind of, like, stares at your mouth agape, and I, I think while this interaction is happening, um, <laughs> we'll cut back to looking at Janet. Um, so, uh, Janet, you are, you're on top of a, of a train car. Uh, where are you headed? The way that I was headed initially, I'm going. I'm going behind into the kitchen, onto the kitchen car. Okay, you're on top of the kitchen car. Is there? Are there any trap doors that lead back inside? Not for this one in particular. All right, next car. Uh, there is a door here. I open it up and jump in. All right, uh, roll me stealth. Can do. <laughs> you need to get an eight. I need to get an eight in stealth. Yes. Well, I'm evasive. That'll work. I'm a performer. No. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. I'm. I'm. I. I can use my dexterous. I want to try and cling to the ceiling. Oh, okay, that's fair. Okay, if that's what you're doing, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So. Roll. Let's see. That's. Yeah, that gives me two extra. Yes. So, so 46. So five. Oh, five. Plus, yeah. Yeah, five, five D6. And that roll is... Wow. A six. Okay. So, Janet, you yeah. cling to the ceiling. Uh, you're, you're up there. And... I've also got my roll. Anyways, whatever. Go for it. Uh, two of the guard. There's there's three guards in here. Two of them are looking forward at this cart here, weapons drawn and kind of not moving. Uh, one of them back here, uh, she's just kind of like, kind of lazing about, and she notices you, and she kind of like, gets, like jerks up really quickly. Uh, she hasn't said anything yet. What do you do? I wave to her and keep a big smile, and then. <laughs> Okay. I. I. Self it, <laughs> my, explode on the spot. The tip, the tip of my mechanical nose opens up. Uh huh. And I just, and I shoot a high, a high speed pellet directly at their forehead. <laughs> Roll me um, an attack. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna end well. I'm so excited for this particular. Uh, I guess 
this is going to be my trick bomb ability. Okay. That has plus that's plus five accurate, plus ten disarming, minus so, five delayed. Uh, so, so you would roll three d six, and uh, it the effect will happen a bit in a bit, but uh, you got to yes. beat a five. Can do six beats a five. Six does beat a five. You have, you can do it a couple of ways. Yes. And that's one of it. All right. So you shoot a pellet at her. Uh, it clonks her in the forehead, and she just goes, ah. <laughs> Ow. While she's, dis- while she's distracted, I fall to the floor and just scamper into the next car. Okay. On all fours. So yes. you scamper into the next car. Uh and you see a sight. Uh, you see two security guards. One of them is like standing further up. And you see a large orc woman who is just kind of leaning against the railing looking out at the sky. Uh, and one, ah. of them, one of them goes, uh, Hey, boss. Uh, some, some Neptune idiot kind of got himself locked out of a cab. I, I need the spare set of keys. And... <laughs> uh, All right. And the other security guard in the room just kind of looks as you enter the room. Hello. You, what? Who are you? Uh, Janet Kessler. Combustion Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Rotator force on Rand Camp. You may have you may have heard some of my work. Miss Steele. Um. <laughs> Uh, Kira Steele give, turns to face you. I give each of you a business, each each of these guards a business card, and then start walking towards Kira Steele with another business card in hand. She looks at you Free for beast. a moment. You're not supposed to be back here. Yes, but I am. Isn't that exciting? I'm going to give you an opportunity to return to your seat. Um, before you are detained. Janet continues walking forward with with the with the business card in their hand. You are you are a security, are you not? You are a security force. Here, a steel orc. Janet, please roll me a defense roll against a nine. And that's crimes. <laughs> is committing an active crime <laughs> in front of you. You're a cop, right? <laughs> Whoa. What law am I breaking? Okay. Yes. So. <laughs> I have evasive re- resistance. Resistance would not work in this particular instance. So it would be Dang. four okay. four d six. Okay. Uh, can I real fast? Mm-hmm. Uh, before I before I do this. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh. Can I? Can I? chug a zappy pill to make me quick no you would have to do that Dang. before yeah sorry okay here i go fuck you did not beat a nine you got a four uh so she beat you by five uh and this is kira and she's very strong excellent wonderful uh so uh janet you take 25 points of damage uh as uh she just <laughs> walks up to you uh she uh picks up her hand liquid metal rolls up her hand to form a uh, <laughs> a, a gauntlet and she just like bops you on the top of the head and it hurts very bad Owie. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> that did a more than a quarter <laughs> That did more than a quarter of your health, so you're also immobilized. Oh. <laughs> as she pu- as she punches down, literally. Um, okay, uh, Riggs Chandler, please take this one uh, to the next car, and we will detain her. God. <laughs> and we will detain her until shut up. <laughs> it's listen. Names are hard. <laughs> Watch. Hey, I could have 
I was thinking about asking you what was on that newspaper, and I didn't. I was nice. I have newspaper from new things, but um, <laughs> I have listen. All there's little details everywhere, but um, oh, Riggs and I'm not sure what we're talking about, but I believe you. Riggs and Chandler watch The Walking Dead. Everybody, uh, so these these two guards like walk over to. Uh, pick you up, Janet, and they go, oh, how did somebody get past the fucking bear? Um, <laughs> uh, Logan. Janet, <laughs> Janet is just kind of just just unconscious, but still talking. <laughs> just saying, I would like to offer you a business arrangement. <laughs> Rotatorforce.wingcamp.com <laughs> Uh, Take a hostage. <laughs> I think she Miss Steel, I think you hit her too hard. I uh, hit them too hard. Uh Logan, uh your 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 breath smells suitably uh boozy. Your your friend Janet has disappeared, so uh I'm not sure if that's really a starter for you, so Whatever you're up to next, I think you're on your own. Uh, I guess she's been caught. Interesting guess. <laughs> I just, you know, actually, I'm not sure about that. I could, I'd assume she'd use more explosives if she were. Hey. Thanks, sorry. <laughs> we are, we will get this. It will happen. We will. I just seem to like use more explosives. That's what I did. Um. Uh, I suppose if this does affect your next move, uh, you do see two security guards, Janet and a large orc, uh, kind of exiting the the room behind the the chef. Uh, and bar, bar tosses Janet back out of the cabin. <laughs> Attract fifteen. I can't. I hate this job sometimes. <laughs> a, a new, a new generation of musical weapons. Does the arc have a security pass on her anywhere visible? Not that you can see on her person. Uh, attention, people of the dining cart, please pay no attention to the, um, inebriated person. Uh, they were simply caught, uh, climbing around the train and, uh, fell. Uh, they'll be all right as rain. They're just going to go in the holding cell for a little bit. Please go back to your food. Being oppressed. <laughs> gotta be oppressed. Uh, got anything for me, Logan? Or, or would you rather? Uh, so, mm -hmm. so in preparation of Kira, I presume Kira is going to come back the other way. Yes. Eventually. Sure. Uh, Logan is going to sort of sleight of hand her drink away. Mm -hmm. and order more as if she were drinking to sell to the bartender that she is drunk oh okay i see what you're doing uh okay um give me a roll to con to like you know conceal that the drink was uh was spirited away and not spirited away <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to use my my evasive and agile stuff. Okay, makes sense. Uh, five. A five. Okay. Uh, you pack a couple of way, uh, and the bartender's like, "Are you a? Hey, or uh, you're not looking so dope over there." I'm fine. Oh, okay. Maybe you've had enough. Oh, I so I've had enough. <laughs> so, and did she get you too? <laughs> says to nobody. 
Uh, Yuto, you do see this. Um, Kara and these two uh, guards lead Janet to one of the uh, the empty carts, uh, the one that you had marked 15, uh, and they drop her inside and post a guy out front. 15, just like the track I made from London. <laughs> Uh, she would eventually start returning. Every it's every it's every trip, it's every goddamn trip. <laughs> uh, Kira, um, um, God. As Kira approaches, Logan gets up and like does not does not seem to purposefully walk into her, but like bumps into her. In a sort of acting drunken stupor. Okay. You've you've you fooled uh, the bartender. Now give me one more roll to fool Kira. Uh, lying, I'm pretty good at. All right. Uh, she she just kind of she's very large. So you like bump into her and she doesn't budge, but she kind of looks down. Uh, that is a, a ten. ten. Yes. Uh, are you uh? Sorry, are um, are you okay? Uh, do I fucking look okay? Uh, Fuck them out. <laughs> you here kind of looks around. You you don't. Uh, can I help you with anything? Not unless you can bring back the dead. the de- uh no no um i i can't but oh, I, I do and i feel horrible with the two <laughs> <laughs> you're avenging your teammate go she your best friend janet her uh, her expression softens uh uh riggs um Go ahead back to the uh, the control car without me. Uh, I'll I'll make sure uh, this passenger is, makes it back to her seat. Uh, Briggs goes, yeah, sure, boss, whatever. <laughs> Heads out. Uh, Kara sits down um, and, and gestures for you to do the same. Logan just sort of slumps down. Uh, hey, uh, I... This isn't really my place, but um, if 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 you re- recently, uh, how much have you had to drink tonight? Uh... <laughs> Logan just sort of glances at the bartender. <laughs> He he kind of like gives you gives the no like X with the, with his hands. <laughs> um, How much that is? R- right. Um. I can't. It, listen, it, drinking your sorrows is not. I trust me. I I I've tried. It's 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 just destructive. It, it, I want um. Uh, can, can I can I help you back to your seat, ma'am? You you look uh a bit out of sorts. Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, she she stands up and offers her shoulder, and then realizes and then like offers to to carry you. <laughs> I can walk. Uh, Logan's going to put like her arm around the orc's waist. Uh. Uh nominally to support her but also to just sort of feel around to see if she can find a pass i had a feeling (laughs) uh give me a thievery uh she's not actually grabbing it right now Mm -hmm. um as like she'll she'll try to do that telekinetically okay she's trying to find it to know where to grab it from Okay, not a problem. Uh, this is uh, lying, agile, and evasive. Okay, give it to me. 
Uh, Remember to put an S on the edge. Do you have any makeshifts that would work? Uh, uh, I don't think so. Not here. Yeah, no. Not really. Rude and all of that stuff sort of works for what she's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a six. That is a six. Okay, so uh, you feel around her waist, and uh, she she kind of like... So, being generous here, uh, she kind of feels you do this, because she, she is very vigilant. So, she just kind of ignores it, thinking you're drunk. Thinking <laughs> I'm drunk and gripping her. Uh, and she kind of uses her, her free hand to kind of, like, pick up your hand and, uh, and move it higher. <laughs> and goes, uh, well, let's, let's keep the touchy-feely to a minimum, huh? We... If we... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this and I didn't feel anything. You did actually. Oh. Um, uh, there was a smooth, uh, uh, oval-shaped like uh thing that was kind of on her waist. Uh, she just happened to notice you do it. Mm. Uh, all right, but uh, as she is carry as she is walk walking you back to your seat, Yuto. <laughs> yes. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, you saw Jana get left in the room, and Mulligan get let into a different room. Nobody knows the <laughs> trouble I've seen. Has, has the guard come back with the keys yet? Uh, <laughs> so the thing is, the guard that was supposed to get your keys was Riggs, and he, he got put on a different detail. <laughs> Because Janet popped in and caused a ruckus. Good news, you've got a bone golem now. Why don't you go to Mulligan? I need to rethink everything now. Hello. Uh, <laughs> bone golem rolls over to Mulligan's door and knocks. The deep, deep answers once more. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to that in a second, uh, how do you anyway? Uh, and it opens the thing for the bone golem. Hello. Very slowly, she shuts the door. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yes. This is only the third time this week that Jana has caused Yuto <laughs> to completely rethink where his life is going. Um. First time that didn't involve music. Uh, before we switch over to Mulligan, uh, Yuto, were you doing anything else? Um, I am thinking. Okay, <laughs> do you need more time to think? <laughs> yes, I okay. do now. Gotcha. Uh, Mulligan, uh, she kind of looks at you. Uh, how do, I'm sorry, how do you know that name? Mulligan is wondering how he... He <laughs> didn't... Heard Mulligan pulls his phone out again. Wasn't it uh, Mulligan's like opening whatever music streaming app came with the phone and is just going back one track at a time because he's basically just had it on continuous play? Mm hmm. Uh, and, well, I'm glad. Yeah, for sure. Until he finds the track that popped up. Yeah. Okay. The the kidnap some. They take a hostage. No, I meant. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the the last other song. Last other was. Uh. Okay. Yeah. So like, I would imagine like as you go through like uh, Iron Garden into Thorns music into like more traditional rock into like Lacey Lassiter stuff is kind of like the 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 path there. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then I guess Mulligan maybe will say that something is just like, you know, when a track comes in or an album, it has info and most people just skip by it. But Mulligan just kind of reads whatever he can before the track finishes and it gets replaced by something else. Okay. Uh, yeah, the track uh, for this one is uh, the Lisa Lester songs. Uh, it is, 
Elbow blade. Shows her the phone. You know my grandma's music. Uh, okay? Uh, well. Yeah, uh. I, 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 I don't know. This is a weird interaction. Uh, I'm, so what is your actual name? It's not Lacey Lassiter. <laughs> Oh, uh, Mulligan. Okay, Mulligan. Skeleton makes another chirping noise. Out <laughs> <of the door. laughs> um, okay, Mulligan. Um, I don't know why you're here, but if you're you're weird like a bunch of these other people, are you part of this Neptune thing? No, but I think. friend wanted to try and be I wouldn't suggest it the people here suck like, like, like that dude in the other cart uh what the, what the what the hell was his name uh, huge jerk Is she pointing in a particular direction uh she's pointing over here to map right yes to map right uh there's this dude uh his name's Lottie uh just the worst he keeps talking about finny fearless and her stupid youtube streams or whatever and won't shut up and he does endless amounts of arcane my electricity has, has gone out in my car my cab like six times because he's shorting it uh, and they're all like that guy who ate the ketchup what that yes that guy I like the idea that that's something he just keeps doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a weirdo. Fucking ketchup guy. Listen, if your friend wants to be part of the Neptune Society, he can have it. Just tell him it might not be worth it. And Arcane is it's some electric? It's, it's like a it's like raw magic broken down that when ingested can temporarily give you like magical abilities and that's bad it's a it is a addictive drug i you know i think mulligan has heard the word drug before to know that it's <laughs> usually not a good context Yes. Uh, she she can't. I, I don't know if you hit your head or you're just confused. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay, Mulligan. Um. I'm. I'm gonna let you know a secret. This train is gonna stop. Uh, in like, I don't know. I think two hours and we're going to get off at a like special, uh, special platform for Neptune society people. I, I don't think anybody's going to stop you for already in this car, but uh, I would suggest not go into these places. If you can, I'm just going to see if I can find my mom, my grandma. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's, it doesn't seem like you're seen. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Not a problem. Sorry if I was being confused. And <laughs> it's quite all right. You're probably the nicest person I talk to all day. Okay. <laughs> she she giggles. That's very funny. Um, <laughs> uh, let's. Morgan is going to. Mm -hmm. I Mulligan. think Mulligan's gonna start. Again, back from that Lacey Lassiter song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just listen to that instead of doing this. I think... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. This rules. Oh, 
I think three days later we'll finally <laughs> get back to the get back to track fifteen. And well, still here's up. here's the thing that I have in mind to make this seem at all useful. Okay. This is great. I love is, it. I think Mulligan is going to exit the this room. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mulligan puts a hand on the skeleton's head and kind of moves it to the side. Mm -hmm. And walks back here and is probably going to, hey, have some things to tell Vito about. <laughs> the skeleton follows you, but fair enough. Um, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> here's, here's what's happening. Um, the guards have mostly been shuffled around a little bit. Uh, Mulligan's walking back to Yuto. Janet's been placed in holding. And uh, Kira is uh, bringing Logan back to uh, the carts. And sh uh, she asks, uh, where was your seat again? Yoda. Uh, somewhere over there. She gestures around where she started sitting. Okay. Uh, I thought she were going to do a double lie, but fair. Uh, she she no, plants you. She could. I don't. Logan's more focused on just getting Kira's thing than okay. anything else. Understood. Uh, she sets you down and uh, kind of looks around and. Uh, Alec, uh, hey, I'm going to take over s watching this cart for a little bit if you want to take a break, buddy. Uh, and he goes, uh, "You sure, Miss Steele? I, I can, I can do this." And she goes, uh, don't don't worry about it. Uh, go 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 tell Baldwin that we're uh, we're just gonna shuffle the uh, the the rotation a little bit. And he goes, "Ma'am, yes, ma'am." <laughs> and he he uh, heads off to a different cart. Uh, and she is going to like kind of stay nearby and watch over you, Logan, for a little bit. As uh, as everybody is kind of collecting towards the front of the car, um, I'm actually going to have Varys take a little break here, and we will get back to what should be a train heist. <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm doing my job. I know. I can't speak to anyone else. <laughs> everybody yeah, had a plan. <laughs> Things happened. I have made and executed a plan perfectly. <laughs> Janet's, well, Janet's not having any coherent thoughts right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all good, everybody. Um, so, hey, everybody. Uh, we will be back in about 15 minutes um, for the second part of the session. Uh, it might be a little shorter, uh, but we we will probably be doing multiple sessions of this this year night's uh, thing. So um, go ahead and grab yourself some food, uh, stretch your legs, grab some water, uh, and we will see you here in a little bit <clears throat> hello everybody welcome back um we are in the middle of a train something um, um so as we left uh yuto uh uh was about to learn some new information uh janet had to been hork snood uh <laughs> in the head um uh, uh, Logan was being led back to her seat by Kira, uh, and, uh, well, not chilling. Um, you gotta get horse snoot sometimes. Um, and I think we will actually start with, uh, you, Yuto. So, uh, Mulligan, you kind of exit out of the car, the, the, the cab that you had been talking to the young tiefling lady in. And uh, you walk back, and you do find Yuto. Uh, you're fl you're followed by your little bone golem buddy. Did you want this back? Uh, yes. I may have used it though. I don't suppose you found out where Lottie was, did you? Yep. Okay. 
Which car? <laughs> that one. Which room? Uh, the one at the end. Ah. He's eating ketchup and drugs. And I shooting light. hope I found some privacy. <laughs> Stop breaking the fourth wall. Check, checks his watch. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we are running out of time. <laughs> yeah, in two hours, I think they're going to do a secret thing. Ah. Well, we'll see how this goes. He kind of, like, clears his throat a bit, straightens himself up, and walks into the car. He's, I guess he'll note the copious amount of drugs in this car. Mm -hmm. Just as a as some sort of note. Uh, so just in case you want to have a fun Friday later. As you walk through the uh, the second of the of the uh, of the rich cars, um, you you do walk by the second room, which is just piles and piles of arcane. Um, <laughs> Magic code. Yeah. Stop by this car. Look inside. Uh, inside, uh, you see uh, Lottie, uh, who is kind of still going on about Finny Fearless, uh, uh, and and just kind just kind of ripped open a shirt to reveal a fearless <laughs> a fearless a fearless one shirt. Uh, some very popular merch. A lot of teens buy. Um. Uh, and He's chewing ketchup. Uh, there, there's a lot of ketchup on the wall and in the mirror and stuff now. Okay. Yeah. Just confirmation enough. Uh, yeah. Check this watch again. And now he waits until just before entering a tunnel. Second tunnel occurs. <laughs> Uh, just before that, he's going to look at the bone golem and say, excuse me, could you go annoy the guard around the corner for a bit? Whoa. Uh, Skeleton puts on a hat, walks around the corner. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss, bye, bye. It's like the little baby from Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> they just rise out of the hands place. Up. <laughs> uh, yes, he, he goes to distract the, the guard. Um... As they enter the tunnel, <laughs> as soon as they enter the tunnel, Yuto is going to uh, summon up some some shadow power mm -hmm. and basically try to make himself look like the devil from Fantasia. <laughs> okay. Fernvog, all right. <laughs> oh, my, oh <laughs> yeah. my god. <laughs> he is then going to slam the door open <laughs> and barge into this room. He will point directly at Lottie and say, You. <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay. So, um, so this is not where I expect this to go. This rules. Uh, roll me an intimidate, and I will go ahead and give you an extra 46 on this. I love this. <laughs> he is super startled. <laughs> uh, let's go. <laughs> Jesus. There we go. Oh! 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 For those who cannot see, Zara just got six sixes. That's an 8d6. That's, 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 man. That's, that's double the triple six. This uh, man has a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Um okay, you you know I had that thought. You beat the check of 10. Uh <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Uh, <laughs> um can you tell me what happens? Um I don't really know how I'm going to do this, but 
<laughs> he is essentially well he's gonna start by saying I have come to reap your soul <laughs> my, my 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 fucking soul but I I haven't even gone to my signing Please, I, I can I can give you anything money. Uh, I can I can give you arcane. I have tons of arcane. Uh, uh, I can I can I can give you people. Uh, arcane? He said it's slapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's something wild about hearing the stage directions in the place that you're doing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I love it. Um. <laughs> He uh, he goes, yeah, uh, arcane. He, um, uh, I, I, here, he, I, I, I have warehouses f f full, of, full of stuff. I, I sell it all over to, 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 to people and and uh, you know. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll never sell it again. I'll, I'll, I'll quit the stuff. Br Bran, Bran, eat all the arcane. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I won't. I won't do it again. I'm a fearless one. I'm a champion. <laughs> Give up everything. I never want to see your face among society ever again. <laughs> he um he op he turns out his pockets. Uh, Yuto. <laughs> um, you have a a you have a debit card with an account attached to it that has four million dollars on it. <laughs> um if you want his <laughs> if you want his arcane <laughs> if you want his arcane um you you can he transfers the 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 card over to you so it just works uh if you want the arcane you can have that too um he like he goes bran i'm sorry you don't work for anymore you work for the devil um and <laughs> the, the his like servant just kind of goes I fucking hate you. You sold me to a demon. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever, man. What do you want? I, do you want me to punch him? Is is the the, the social pass in there? Uh, he yes, it, it is. He he his social pass yeah. is in, was in his pocket. Excellent. Well, in that case, I will look at them both and just say, "Now, both of you, get out of here." No oh, fuck, I'm free. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, Bran just stands up and walks past you. <laughs> um, Not my problem. <laughs> just uses a lightning bolt to shatter the window and jump back. Um, sort of. <laughs> uh, uh, with the arcane still in in in, in the system, uh, just kind of like conjures a fireball and melts the glass and just. Ah! <laughs> once once everyone is out of the room. The train will come out of the tunnel, and, and all the shadows will just dissipate, and Yuto will just be standing there, <laughs> sit down, put put the pass in his pocket. Long tunnel. <laughs> very. It was very well timed. It was a good tunnel. He he had a whole plan about it. Uh, you on on the other side of the wall, Yuto, you hear. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, <laughs> And uh, uh, the guard that we all know and love, <laughs> Idris. Um, <laughs> he, he, <laughs> is, he is very distracted, but uh, the little guy finishes his, his song and dance number and returns to the room. Goes, oh! uh, <laughs> that song and dance was so good, the guard could ignore Satan being <laughs> run over. So, really good song and dance. <laughs> um, Jesus. Um, back in the, in the, in the commoner cart with Logan, uh, Kira, uh, it nor it normally a guard would be posted at the back of the cart, but Kira is, like, sitting, like, across from you, Logan, just kind of keeping an eye over. She has her kind of hands, uh, steepled and, uh, and just kind of, like, tapping her foot. Uh, just kind of. So, mm. so why are you being so nice to me? Uh. I'm just doing my 
job. Uh, roll... Maybe I'm drunk. I'm not stupid. <laughs> uh, my um, my friend was recently uh, kidnapped. Uh, and uh, presumed dead. Uh, I don't know why I'm opening up to you. Uh, it's... I, I don't like to see people in pain. Uh, it's, I took a job as a security because I want to protect people from pain. Is, is this job doing that? Ow! <laughs> Did you hear from two cars over? Uh, it's it's protecting people, but I don't know if they're my kind of people. She says, looking around at like the 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 just the generic generic white stock characters. <laughs> <laughs> did, who did those aren't those aren't placeholders for anybody who did you i'm, I'm sorry i'm prying uh, i'm sorry uh, it's it's fine it's Do something real shitty by oh. telling me half truth. Do the shitty thing. That was a guy. He just turned into a foot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a, that's a half truth. I don't think that's a full lie. <laughs> There's a man that's a foot. Yeah, we didn't bring him. There's a yeah. girl I knew. Was close to. Never really became a thing, but we could have. <clears throat> That's kind of sad. Yeah, it's kind of curious. Um, You know, um, for for as big as I am, I couldn't protect the person I was close to, and it led to them not being here anymore. And and now you're trying to protect everyone else. I guess. How's that going for you? Not great. I'm just... <sighs> Maybe I should... It says drink's probably not the best way to avoid it. And it's probably right, but... It's not the way for work, ain't either. Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. I, there's a lot of people who depend on me, and I, I don't want to just leave them high and dry. It's, I'm sure you have people you still care about. Uh, Logan, you guys that, question, that question, that question just hit a little too close to Logan. <laughs> Logan goes through a mental list of the people closest to him. Uh, that list is Utah, Mulligan, and Janet. <laughs> You need somebody to uh, t talk to the 
the train will be stopping uh, in a in a short while to let off some passengers. Um, uh, I I think that might be a time to uh, to sober up, and uh, maybe I can sneak you something nice from the uh, from the kitchen cart. They have some specials they don't serve to everybody. I'm sure I'm gonna have something. Why does it just seem bad and it not go in? That's that's because there's a. She, she like kind of looks you over and see you. You still seem kind of drunk to her, so she goes, "That's because there's a uh, a magic bear making all the food." Oh shit! Really? Oh yeah. Yes. Come in. <laughs> Apparently makes some mean burgers. Yeah, he makes a bunch of stuff, but we only serve the burgers. Just try the bear claw. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Not a good <laughs> so, uh, she she kind of like sighs. L- listen, you need to you need to rest up. Um, I will be uh I will be in these cars for the for the next leg of this trip so if you need anything uh just call out for me uh, my name's kira uh what's yours i think logan will give her actual name okay <laughs> she's already feeling guilty enough about this. <laughs> uh hey uh well slogan uh i will i will i will hope to talk to you when you're more on your feet <sighs> jeez ghost sure uh as your eyes close uh nod kind of like looks over the seat and goes oh oh and <laughs> like runs forward into the next car um uh Excuse me, sir. Uh, my friend is asleep in there, and I would like to see them. Uh, so- sorry, kid. You can't just go into the room. Oh, no, I can't. Uh, I can. <laughs> Hello, Janet. Um, uh, you're good, kid, Nod. Yay. Um, and they uh, hold out a hand and just turn into liquid. <laughs> and then slip under the door. Good. There you go. Slipping under the door like liquid. You sample any good sounds on the train? Nod. I heard Logan drunk. That's a good sign. You sample it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Nod does their best approximation of Logan going, ah, Janet's not feeling too good. <laughs> you might no, nah, you might think someday you might think I'm invincible. I can do anything. I'm made of I've dreams. Survived a, I've survived a thousand explosions. Surely <laughs> an orc woman won't knock my <laughs> block off. <laughs> Nod kid. You're made of dreams, but you're not made of cheese. No, I'm I'm made of dreams. <laughs> One of these days, Nod, you're gonna have to deal with that. And you're gonna get your nog block nog 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 nork. Pardon me? <laughs> I don't talk so good no more, Nod. I think I can hear the great beyond calling for me. No, that'd be my dad. Oh No wait, not my dad. No, no, that'd be the ode. No, do you hear a person talking to you from, uh, like, waterfalls? Yeah. You should not go over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nod kind of, like, sits down next to you, pulls out the rubber duck, and starts squeaking it. <laughs> That's a good sign. 
example of that. That's a good point. Um, <laughs> as as Janet drifts off into dreamland, <laughs> um, Logan uh, recovers with Kiera watching over. Uh, Yuto adopts the uh, the former cart of Lottie Slot Slotry, <laughs> and uh, Logan uh, enjoys some more uh, metal music. <laughs> I I think two passes is where we're we're good to leave off for right now. Uh, <laughs> will the Knights crew be able to acquire two more, three more passes? <laughs> will Will they be able to do it before the next leg of the trip is over? <laughs> Find out next time on Tales of Harbor Knights. Uh, we hope you found something precious because we're gonna take it. Goodbye, everybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>